The smaller the organization is, the more likely there's compliance issues. We've seen that time and time again. Large ph pharma companies have been scrutinized for the last 10 years for their disclosure practices, and most of the articles written have focused in on large pharma companies, and in part because of that, and also, I would say, because of a dedication to transparency that has evolved over time and is now a very serious and important part of their corporate behavior, large pharma companies have embraced disclosure and transparency by and large. Mid-market and smaller companies are still struggling and there's a direct correlation with a company's portfolio of trial, the size of their portfolio and the revenue they generate and the degree to which they are compliant with law and the degree to which they are sort of evolving alongside the trends of disclosure, which is unfortunate. Smaller companies have looked at disclosure as something that large pharma companies are going to be scrutinized for, but maybe they won't be looked at so much. And that is a miscalculation. Organizations like Good Pharma Scorecard, for example, are looking at drug approvals and all the studies associated with them, irrespective of company size going forward. About two years ago, a group of investors co-signed the All Trials Initiative. and In that signature, they signaled that their expectation as investors is that a company disclose all of their clinical trial data, which is what the All Trials Initiative is about. It's significant to note that these investors represent close to $4 trillion in investment money. So even for small companies, it's something to consider that the investors are looking at their disclosure behavior. Additionally, down the line, after the investment is made, there may be an acquisition in a smaller company's future, and large pharma companies are looking at the disclosure practices and ethical practices of the company that they're seeking to acquire. So being on top of it just from a practical and pragmatic perspective is important for small companies as well.